Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one's on base identification at Town Hall 9, specifically for air attacks. Um, so we're going to be going through um, examples of what types of bases are going to be good for certain types of air attacks. So for example, we have the, um, the Queen Walk Mass Baby Dragon uh, queued up for this base for a certain reason, and we'll take a look at two other examples as well. There's basically four main air attacks um, that I can think of. I get, there's different variations, obviously, but there's four main categories for four different types of bases. I have three attacks to show, so for the fourth one, we'll just have to talk through it a little bit, but you guys have seen enough attacks already that it should be pretty easy to explain. Uh, but we will go through the three attacks that we have first. Starting with this first base, it's a mass baby dragon, and as we watch the attack, we'll just talk a little bit about what types of bases are going to be good for this. So first of all, you need usually all four of those air defenses in one area. Um, you can try to do some creative, creative stuff and uh, have your queen only get three. In that case, you're probably going to want some method, whether it's a lava hound in the CC or your king, like a suicide king for an air defense, some kind of method to get that third air defense if your queen can't get all four, but the best case scenario is your queen gets all four. So good funneling on the queen, you gotta make sure she goes into the base, that's the entire attack right there, whether or not she goes into the base, because uh, it'll screw you up completely if she doesn't. But right here she steps in, creative little thing with the king here, sometimes your king is just kind of there, um, he's not really necessary for the attack, so he goes ahead and drops down the king, uh, to tank and then some bowlers. He'll get some, uh, he actually gets that air defense right there with the second bounce, which the queen would have got anyway, but it's definitely a good thing to do just for insurance. Um, taking out wizard towers, archer towers, so very creative there, and uh, has to use the queen's ability for the CC troops, but has plenty of rages for her, so she will be fine as she makes her way into the base. One thing to keep in mind is that um, I don't think the queen even goes down to the bowlers or the king, the defensive queen that is, that's fine. The baby dragons are going to be enough to take out the queen. Don't worry about um, the defensive queen being too much of an issue. Worry about those air defenses. Those are the main threats and uh, possibly some other defenses uh, that can target those baby dragons. The queen's not that big of a threat. They aggro onto her pretty quickly. Uh, keeps them nice and spread out. But the main thing you're looking for are those four air defenses, um, all accessible by a queen charge. Uh, if you use maybe four quakes, that's the typical thing. A jump spell is less reliable, so you want to use those four quakes in most circumstances. Maybe not bring the poisons, uh, so you only have to take up essentially uh, one regular spell s slot with those uh, four quakes, and you can bring three rages to go with them. Um, usually the poison spell you can get away without having to bring it, as long as you have enough stuff to keep your queen up and the ability for the CC troops usually. Um, so it takes out this base really easily, but that's the main thing. Those four air defenses, if they're accessible, this is a great strategy to use. It's actually pretty versatile um, beyond the air defense placement, as long as they're in the right spot. Not that much other stuff matters. You can do it on most bases, um, unless there's some kind of weird setup to, to defend against this, but right now, uh, nothing of that sort is what we're seeing. So look for those four air defenses, all accessible by a queen charge with those quakes. Um, moving on to the next one, Nano John. <clears throat> and uh, this is just kind of your basic uh, either uh, cold blooded or shattered La Lune. Um, we do see. And I guess there's kind of a fifth type of air attack I'm forgetting, which I'll talk about in a second. But just first, this is where you can get the queen in two air defenses, just like the old days. And uh, funny enough, this actually is kind of an old-fashioned base uh, looking thing. Uh, so it's definitely not um, that good of an anti-three-star base. But there are anti-three bases that do kind of resemble this. It's where you can come in. Um, sometimes you have to be creative for some of the new bases because defenders will make it a little bit harder. But you have the the queen and two air defenses accessible or the queen and one air defense but in that case you should only use one golem and bring an extra lava hound more balloons something like that you don't want to spend two golems if you're just getting one air defense so all that basic stuff one thing to add is i would bring a few more wizards now that you have the level six wizards that do even more damage than the old level six wizards so a lot more dps coming from that four troop space it's a good thing to bring besides besides your heroes um you have the golems anyway, I say this a bunch, um, but you have the golems anyway, might as well bring those extra wizards, uh, it's pretty good value. So keep that in mind as well. And uh, one thing I was 
kind of had an epiphany as I was making this video just now. Um, there is the attack, which I'm not going to be showing, where you bring, you know, three golems, bowlers, a huge heavy kill squad, almost like a stoned hobo, but instead of hogs, you use like one lava hound and balloons around the outside. That's when you can get in there and get like all four air defenses taken out, similar to the first attack I showed, but it's where a queen walk's not going to be as effective. Maybe there's too many walls in the way um, and you can't use the quakes as you would. Maybe there's too much for your queen to have to deal with. That's when you go a little bit heavier and uh, go ahead and bring the, the three golems, the bowlers, um, drop down like some jumps or something, maybe one jump, two jumps, whatever you need to get in there, get most of those air defenses taken out, and then just use balloons around the ring. So that's more of a hybrid attack. It's less air, um, more focused on ground, but it still incorporates air. So I guess I should have mentioned that. Um, so that's probably the fifth one. Uh, and I'll talk about the one um, that I'm not mentioning. I'm not showing a replay for. I'll get to that last one at the end of the, the video. But let's go into the next replay I have. Um, this is Jess Jess. And uh, this is something that's a little more niche. -y. We don't see it quite as much. Um, but I think it's worth mentioning. And because I had an attack for it from this war, definitely worth showing. And if someone gives you a gap into their base, go ahead and take advantage of that. Um, but the difference between this and the baby dragon attack we saw at the beginning of the video is that he can't get all of the air defenses. There's still two air defenses his queen won't be able to get, or at least she won't be able to get in any reasonable amount of time. So he has to still, you know, encounter those and have those taken care of. But that being said, the queen walk is the best bet here. A kill squad is going to be too unpredictable in the pathing. And besides, the queen walk is more effective. It's only the troop space of four healers, which is a little bit less than the golems. And, uh, He's not losing any troops. The The queen's regenerating, so obviously it's a much better value. Goes ahead and drops that rage. Um, probably could have just gotten away with using the ability because um, he has to use the ability anyway, so maybe uh, didn't need to drop that rage as early as he did. But uh, regardless, he'll still get some value because right here she'll be healed up under that uh, two to three point defense and gets that air defense taken out before it does anything too bad to the healers. Uh, goes ahead and puts that next rage down, which is a good idea because the expos are coming in hot on her. Um, at this point, sends the king in, I think, just to take out that flanking archer tower um, and kind of support the queen. Uh, not a huge deal, but had to do something with the king, so that makes sense. Um, then there goes the lava hound, a few balloons, the haste spell, just going to work his way around the base. Unfortunately, his queen is going to go down. That's not the best thing to happen because oftentimes she's going to be important for cleanup and stuff. But regardless, he still has uh, quite a few air troops left up. Plenty of Lava Hounds because he has one more left to deploy. And he's already closing in on that last air defense. So good timing on that last Lava Hound. Uh, balloons closing in. A few Teslas, which will be a little bit problematic. But he has enough balloons that it shouldn't ruin the attack. Um, Lava Pup spread out. The King is up, which is helpful for cleanup. Maybe could have got the King in a little bit earlier to possibly tank for the Queen and prevent her from going down. But that's kind of, you know, splitting hairs. It was a good attack. Um, nice job to Jess Jess. And when there's an opening in the base like that, and on a very spread out base, which isn't that common, but we do see a little bit, um, this is a great attack to use if you can get a queen walk deep into the base. Um, if you get all four air defenses, baby dragons are your best bet. But if you only get like two air defenses, like in this attack, uh, use the La Loon on the rest of the base like he did here. Um, okay, let's go ahead and uh, that's our last replay actually. I do want to say um, one last thing guys, when the queen is exposed um, and you can do a, a king trade, that'll set you up for like a penta or a four lava hound attack where you really focus on bringing the air troops and the air spells uh, like rages and hastes and stuff and some heals which we talked about a few videos back and sometimes drop your queen down to take out an exposed air defense if she can reach it over a wall or just take out a Tesla farm and uh, use a Zap Quake on an air defense. You have different options, but if the queen is exposed, that really opens you up to not having to use a kill squad or any kind of queen walk. You basically just use your queen as a utility troop wherever you need her, then focus on either lightning spells or a ton of uh, rages and hastes for your La Loon attack and just kind of spam your La Loon in. Don't spam it, but do it kind of like in a methodical method around the base so that's the last kind of example but those are the five guys just to recap them one more time we have your baby dragon attack um with the queen walk and the quakes we have um your traditional 
uh, shattered or cold blooded La Luna attack. Then we have the queen, kind of the queen charge uh, attack to get two air defenses taken out, and t typically the queen as well. Then use La Luna on the rest of the base. We have the very heavily ground based kill squad where you bring one or no lava hounds. You just bring three golems, uh, some bowlers possibly, go deep into the base, just leave the shell for the balloons. And then this, this last one um, that I just talked about here. <clears throat> which is going to be the uh, uh, kind of blanking out for a second. Uh, the last one is going to be where you do the queen, the king trade for the queen, take her out, and uh, then you can go ahead and be much more creative with how you use the rest of your troops. But it's more of an air-based attack, the opposite of the golem-based attack where you come in heavy with a kill squad. So hope that makes sense. Hope you guys liked the video. That'll do it. Let me know if you have any questions and if you want me to keep doing kind of base identification videos like this, which I might consider doing more of in the future. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.